Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Happy Sunday to you all. I hope you all went to church. <laughs> so today I bring this wonderful opportunity your way for those who want to migrate to UK this 2024. I have received a lot of messages, um, favor, how can I do it? I want to travel to UK through study route. And so now this wonderful opportunity is for you, for those who want to migrate to UK. This particular school is offering um, tuition fee scholarship. And I'm going to you know, share the screen and you can see everything you stand to gain with this opportunity. So um, I know a lot of you will be like, Favor, where are you? Because the background looks different. If you are following me or if you, if you are following my Facebook, you can see that right now I'm in Hungary. And yeah, so your baby girl is in Hungary right now, <laughs> chilling. So um, yeah, we have a lot to talk about. And this particular April that is coming, I intend to invest a lot of time on my social media, especially my YouTube and Facebook. So do well to subscribe to my channel, do well to follow my page because I'm going to be giving you updates back to back. So this particular school I'm about to share with you is in UK. And one of the things you have to have at the back of your mind is that if you want to migrate to UK this 2024, this September, then this school is for you because they said those that will be eligible for this scholarship are those who want to be in UK by September. So if you don't want to be in UK by September, then you can skip through. <laughs> but for those who want to be in UK by September, then you have to, you know, watch this video till the end so that you can understand how to go about it and all the information you need because they are really out to help international students to migrate to UK. Not only to migrate to UK, but to study in their school because that is the reason why they're giving you the scholarship. So I'm going to share the screen, but I can see people are joining already. Please do want to let me know where you are watching me from. I see people are on YouTube already. <laughs> I am so excited to have you here. I noticed, okay, you know, so I came into Hungary since, let's say, about a week now, last, last Saturday, last week Saturday. And within the week, I tried to make a video and uploaded it as a normal video. I noticed it didn't actually do too well. I think my fans are really, you know, interested in me coming up live. And yeah, so we are going to keep up with that. <laughs> we are going to keep up with that. So yeah, I'm going to share the screen right away and I'm going to share everything you need to know about this scholarship and how to apply to it. So let's get started. But do want to let me know where you are watching me from. Yeah, so here we are right now. And this is University of Bristol. And you can see here that they said, this is a think big postgraduate award. Um, I would have also shared their, in, um, their undergraduate scholarship, but because the deadline have expired, or let's say the deadline was around February 26th. So there's no need sharing about the undergraduate scholarship. So right now I'm sharing only about their postgraduate scholarship. And you can see here that they said, prospective international students can apply for funding towards the cost of tuition fees and living costs. And you can see that they said scholarships, scholarship awards for post Graduate international students are valued at £6,500, £13,000, and £26,000 per year and can only be used towards the cost of tuition fees. You are going to see everything. Don't worry. I will explain better to you. So um, applicants may, be, may also be eligible to receive 3000 living cost bursary during their first year of study. So for those who are asking what are the eligibility requirements, who are those who are eligible to apply for this um, scholarship, this is the information they have here. They said you can apply if you are class 
as an overseas student for fee papers and you must have applied to start any one year full-time master's program or one of our eligible two-year programs either which is msc in social work and their master's in law then you can see that they said it has to be a program that is starting by september 2024 and you do not need to have an offer to study before submitting an international scholarship application so what they need you to do is you have to apply to any of your any of their one year full time masters program and if you don't do that you can also apply to the, any of these program which is masters in uh, master of science in social work and master master of law so any of them and each of them have to be a program that is starting by September 2024. And when you have applied to any of these program, you don't have to wait to get admission already before you make application for this um, scholarship because the deadline is by April. So you do not need to wait till you get an offer from the school before you apply for this scholarship. So here they said how to apply. Apply using the International Scholarship online application form you can find out more details about completing this form in our guidance on how to apply for international scholarships then you can see that they said the deadline will be by monday 29th april and it will close by 10 a.m uk time so um every information you need like successful applicants will be contacted on or before february on or before friday 24th May 2024, then unsuccessful applicants will be notified shortly after. And here you, you can see what they have to say concerning this application. They said, if you apply for this scholarship, you are also automatically considered for any other University of Bristol international scholarships that you are eligible for. You do not need to submit two separate applications. The application process is the same for all University of Bristol international scholarships. So the terms and conditions and frequently asked questions are also the same. So when you apply for this particular scholarship, which is Think Big Postgraduate Award, when you apply for it, Remember, you have to apply for any of their master's course before you apply for this scholarship. So once you have applied for this particular scholarship, you do not need to make a separate application again for any of their scholarships for international students. This application covers for any other scholarship that they might see you are eligible for, if you understand what I mean. So you do not need to make a separate application for any other of their international scholarships right and so let's go to the frequently asked questions so that you can be able to understand better about this scholarship i'm going to still open the university homepage so that you can see what it looks like and you can see the programs available in the school and um requirements how to apply to them because you just need to apply to any of their master's program and now you can now make application for this um scholarship and you can see for the frequently asked questions, they said, who can apply for University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarships and which programs are eligible? I know some people might be like, is it only for arts students or masters or science students? So you can see that they said, you can apply for University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarships if you are classed as an, as an overseas student you know is another word for international student for fee purposes regardless of which country you are from so all nationals can apply to this scholarship and you can see that they said you must have applied to any eligible one year full-time taught master's program or one of our eligible two-year programs in msc social work and masters in law ma law starting in 2024 so they said do i need to have do i need to have applied for a program of study at the university of bristol before before i apply for the university of bristol international post graduate scholarships yes you need to have already applied to study at the university of bristol 
starting in 2024 to apply for the University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarships. You will need to include your student ID on the application form. We will not be able to consider your application without it. So this is one of the reasons you have to make the application to any of their study programs before you can apply for this scholarship because they will need you to impute your student ID in the application form. And you can see, do I need to have an offer to study at the University of Bristol to be able to apply for the University of Bristol International Post Graduate Scholarships? No. As long as you meet the eligibility requirements and you have submitted an application to study at the University of Bristol, you can apply for the University of Bristol International Post Graduate Scholarships, even if you have not yet received an offer. I am applying for more than one program at the University of Bristol. How should I complete the international scholarships application form? If you have applied to study more than one program at the University of Bristol, you will be able to select multiple programs on your application form. What documents do I need to apply for the University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarships? You do not need to submit any documentation when applying for the University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarships. You just need to complete the online international scholarships application form after you have submitted an application to study at the University of Bristol. So you're not imputing maybe documents like IELTS, your school results, and all of that. No. They just need you to apply to any of their study programs once you meet the eligibility eligibility requirements of any of the programs. Then once you have submitted the application, you just have to fill this online international scholarships application form and that is it so what is a student id because some people might be asking where do i find this student id what is it all about so this is the number you received when you made an application to study at the university of bristol if you are a postgraduate global transfer program student you will receive a student id in your welcome email when you apply to the global transfer program. If you are unsure of your student ID, contact the international partnerships team at, you know, this is their email address. All right, so is there an age restriction for applying for the University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarship? Because some people might feel like maybe they are too old to study already and all of that. So here you can see that they said, no, there is no age restriction for students applying to the applying for the University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarships. And if I have applied to study a PhD program, am I able to apply for the University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarships? No, unfortunately, the University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarships are only available for eligible postgraduate master's program. Sorry about that. So for PhD programs, just um, stay on the line because I have some scholarships only for um, PhD um, scholars. So do well to keep an eye on my channel. I'm going to also share that. If I have applied to study a PGCE program, am I able to apply for the University of Bristol International Post graduate scholarships? No, unfortunately, the University of Bristol International programs scholarships are only available for eligible postgraduate master's program. And so do you have any more questions um, or should I continue with this? Um, I, I wouldn't actually want to bore you a lot with all of this. So, but this, these are like the frequently asked questions. You can take your time, take your time to go through. The link is in the description box. So let's actually um, read through this particular one that says, do I need to meet any English language requirements to be able to apply for the University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarships? No, you will not need to meet any English language requirements to apply for the University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarships. However, you will need to meet any conditions of the academic offer for your program. 
for your program of study to successfully receive a University of Bristol International Postgraduate Scholarship. This may include English language requirements. So what they're talking about, like just like they said previously, you do not need to submit any documentation for this scholarship because once you have applied for your school already or for the program already, you must have submitted all the necessary documents. So they don't need you to submit any external documents for this scholarship. They just want you to fill the form to show interest that you are applying for the scholarship. And for people who will say, do I need any English proficiency requirements? Um, they said, no, you don't need to. It just depends on the program you are applying for. I took my time to go through their um, programs and I could see, I took my time to go through their programs, you know, on the university homepage. And I could see that um, some of the programs doesn't really need you to get IELTS. So what they actually want to see is that you studied in an English speaking country, like your certificates or your previous study was, was taught in English and that is enough for them. <laughs> so somehow you do not need to write IELTS or maybe TOEFL and all of that. So someone is saying, must I secure admission first? Is the application to the university free? You know, so I think the person actually must have asked this question before I explained it. So you just need to apply to any of their study programs and that is it. Once you apply to any of their study programs, you just have to now come to this scholarship homepage and fill the form. You don't need to wait till you get admission to study in the university before you fill this particular form. So everything you need to know is here. And when you come down, you can be able to see when they will inform about the successful applicants and all of that. So I already opened the University of Bristol homepage and you can see it here. It's just very simple to navigate through this website. I took my time to go through it before coming up live. So, but the link is in the description box. You can find it in the description box after watching this video. So once you go down here at like study at Bristol, you can see for undergraduate, you can see for postgraduate, and you can see for international students. So if you want to see their postgraduate studies or programs, you just have to click on this and you can see some of the programs here. They, they have about 236 programs for their masters or their postgraduate study. And what you just need to do is you can select the study type you want, maybe thought or research, and you can be able to decide, are you going for arts or engineering, social science and all of that. You just have to filter it to what you want. Definitely you have to click on, on campus because this is for people who are coming to um, UK to study, not people who will be studying online. So any of the courses you have interest in, you can be able to click on it and you can see what they have to say concerning it. You can see the, the website is just so, easy to navigate. You can see the overview, the structures, the, the entry requirements, and you just have to click on it because you need to know what any course you want to navigate through because I don't know the particular course you might be searching for. So here you can see the key information about the program, the start date. Remember, you have to select a program that the start date is September 2024. And you can see you need to also be sure that the application is still ongoing for that particular course. You can see this one, the deadline will be by 24th July 2024, meaning that it is still available for international students. And you can see that the delivery method will be on campus. And once you have been able to certify this or ascertain this, you need to know the entry requirements. So when you click on it, you can see what they need you to have and you know everything you need to know about it, then let's check the English language requirements. You can see that for this particular course we are navigating, which is, um, which program is this again? Hold on. So this is um, MSc in biorobotics. And you can see that for the entry requirements, 
you can see for their English proficiency, they said if English is not your first language, you will need to reach the requirements outlined in our profile. You know, you just need to click here. But if, if English is your first language, then you do not need to worry about this. So I, um, this is the home page of the university. The link is in the description box. Just take your time to go through it because you need to, like just me browsing it alone here will not be enough for you to get the information you need. So what you just need to do, take your time, scan through this, this university, read more about them, try to understand what they are up to, you know, try to see if they fit your standard. <laughs> Because a lot of people, a lot of people might be like, mm, they, they are not my kind of university. So try to see if they are worth it, you bringing out your time to apply to them. So you can see that they are ranked 55th university in the world and in UK. They are ranked ninth in the UK. And they said one of the four most targeted by the by top uk recruiters so once you graduate from this school they said you are you are going to be a hot cake and they said here that we are a top five uk university for research quality so give it a try try to also read more about their tuition fees and you can see already what they have promised to give for international students they said um the scholarship awards for postgraduate international students are valued at at six thousand five hundred um pounds thirteen thousand pounds and twenty six thousand pounds and if you win the one for six thousand five hundred it will be deducted from your school fees if you have the one for 13 it's also going to be deducted from your school fees if you get the one of twenty six thousand pounds it will be deducted from your school fees so you do not need to pay like if the school fees is like twenty thousand pounds from what i understand from the research i made i cannot find exactly where it is so if the let's say the your tuition fee because i think the tuition fee varies according to university according to cost by cost so if your tuition fee is like twenty thousand pounds or let's say eighteen thousand pounds and maybe you are awarded the one for twenty six thousand pounds or they just need to minus it and that means you will study without paying any tuition fee but if you get the one of six thousand five hundred and your tuition fee is like eighteen thousand pounds they will minus it and you pay the balance so that is how this their scholarship is going to work out so i think you just have to strive read more to know what you need to do to get this twenty six thousand pounds and i believe um, it will reduce the stress for you and you can be able to, you know, study in UK without paying any money. <laughs> so if this sounds interesting and if you found value in this video, please do want to give this video a thumbs up because when you like the video, YouTube or Facebook can suggest it to other viewers. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do want to subscribe. On this channel, I create content that relate to international study opportunities like fully funded scholarships, how to study abroad for free documents required and all the tips and tricks of how you can migrate abroad at little or no cost. So do well to subscribe to my channel and let's take it off from here. We have a channel, we have a Telegram channel and WhatsApp channel that you can join in case if you are making all these applications and you are stuck somewhere, you can send a message. It's easier to reply when you are on those channels because the messages are so quick to see. So when you um, are stuck somewhere in your application, you can reach out and we can be able to help you. And I have a paid consultation that you can book in case if you have gone through my videos and you don't even know where to start because I make a lot of videos on you know, different countries, UK, US, Canada, and all of that. So if you don't even know where to start, you can book a session with me and we can be able to guide you and have a session and know how to advise you better on your travel needs so until my next video love you stay blessed bye